Dear friends, this is Dr. Keerthi Seth and in this video, we will learn about Swarm Intelligence. What is the meaning of Swarm Intelligence? The definition, how we can define Swarm Intelligence, where we can use Swarm Intelligence and what are the principles of Swarm Intelligence. So, almost all the nature inspired algorithms can be based upon either biological system, physical systems or chemical systems. By far, most of the nature-inspired algorithms are based upon biological systems. So we can say that a large number of fraction, large number of nature-inspired algorithms are based on biological systems. That's why these algorithms are called biological inspi inspired algorithm or bio-inspired algorithm. Among these bio-inspired algorithms. There is a special class of algorithm that is developed using swarm intelligence. So, due to this fact, these algorithms are also known as swarm intelligence algorithm. So, here our purpose of discussion is what is actually swarm intelligence. Social in insects like ant, bees, wasps or birds, fishes exhibit swarm intelligence. And swarm intelligence is the collective behavior of decentralized self-organized system. Actually, swarm intelligence exists in nature and scientists keep on studying this swarm intelligence just to learn how these discrete biological agents work together with their environment just to perform a common goal. So, swarm intelligence is known as when you see some ants, ant colony, then fish is cooling or birds flocking everything is known as swarm intelligence this is called swarm and this particular collect collectively this is called swarm ant colony is called a swarm birds cooling is a called a, a swarm fish is cooling is again called a swarm bee colony is also called a swarm so this this swarm has exhibits some intelligence and that is known as Swarm intelligence. Basically, swarm intelligence is just to work for a decentralized system and together these ants or bees or fishes or birds work for a common goal according to their intelligence that is known as swarm intelligence. So, basically there are five principles of swarm intelligence. First one is awareness. Awareness says that each member of the swarm must be aware of its surrounding and ability. Each and every member of the swarm must be aware of its surrounding and ability. What is the environment in surrounding and what that swarm particularly do? Autonomy. To self-coordinate, each member must operate as an autonomous master. This is a decentralized system. There is no master-slave concept. So, each member of the swarm should work as an autonomous master. Solidarity. When a task is complete, members should autonomously look for a new task. So, it means for different different swarms, the different dif from the, for the, in the different different swarms, different different members can join. It is not so that once a swarm is formed, that swarm will act for many goals. Once the one goal is complete, each member is free to look for a new task. Expendability. The system must permit dynamic expansion where members are seamlessly aggregated. At any point of time, a new member can join. Similarly, resiliency, when members are removed, the system must be self-healing. For example, one member left the swarm. So, the system must be self-healing. It means the system must be capable of doing everything without that particular insect so swarm intelligence is already in nature we can see like ant colonies we see that once ants go in the search of their food they go together and this is known as ant colony so fishes also if you have seen sometime fishes fly together for a particular goal or in the evening we say that they are returning to their home or something like that so this is called uh, bird schooling birds and fish uh, Fishes all this is called bulk bird flocking. Fishes also search for their food together. That is called fish schooling. So these are called swarm, and their behavior is very intelligent behavior. If you closely look to these ants colonies, they always means like you find that they are saying something to each other. So it means they are working in the colony, and they exhibit a common behavior. 
So this uh, collection of uh, ants or birds or bees or fishes, this is called swarm and this swarm has some intelligence based on these five principles. So there are many bio-inspired algorithms, those are based on these swarm intelligence. For example, ant colony optimization, particle swarm optimization, cuckoo search, bat algorithm, firefly algorithm. So in next videos, we will be discussing about these algorithms one by one. So thanks for watching.